Hi everybody, Rabbi Grossbaum here with my helpers, Esther and Shimon, and we have a special surprise coming because do you know, in just a little bit of the special Chag, in honor of that Chag, oh, we've got exciting stuff coming. Hi everybody, are you ready? There's a special Chag coming up. Does anybody know what Chag it is? What Pesach! Chag is coming up, guys? That's right, Pesach's coming up. I can't wait. Are you guys ready for Pesach? Yeah! I love Pesach. Well, guess what? There's all kinds of stuff we do on Pesach. Does anybody know what, raising your hands, what are some of the things we do on Pesach? You know what? What do we do on Pesach? We, we, we have the Seder play. We, we have the Seder and the Seder play. That's right. What else do we do on Pesach? What do we, we eat matzah. We eat matzah. That's right. Do you know how many matzahs are out there on the Seder plate? Let's count together. One, One two, two. Three. Three. In Hebrew, let's do it together. Echad. Shayim. Shalosh. That's right. We have three matzahs on the Seder plate. And you know they have names. Top one. That's right. The top one's called Kohen. Can you say it together? Say Kohen. Kohen. Middle one's called Lady. Lady. Bottom one's called Yisrael. Yisrael. Let's try that again. Top one's called Kohen. Kohen. We see your hands. Middle one's called Yisrael. Lady. Lady. Bottom one's called Yisrael. Yisrael. Very good. Now, do you know we break one of the matzahs? Which oh. matzah do we break? Me. That's right, we break the Levi matzah. So everybody grab the middle matzah and pull it out, pull, 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 pull and whoosh. Now we hide half of it for the Afi Komen. Okay, everybody, let's hide my Afi Komen. Uh, don't tell anybody where that is. Shh, shh, it's hiding. Well, we have half of it for the Afi Komen that we eat later for dessert. But for now, let's keep it tucked in there. Shh, don't tell anybody it's hiding. Okay, well, let's see. We have matzah by the Seder. What else do we have by the Seder? How about, do we have, we have wine? Yeah. Is that what you said? We have wine by the Seder, that's right. Do you know how many cups of wine we have? Let's try this together. One, One two, two, three, four. four. Let's try it in Hebrew. Echa, shtayim. Shalosh Arba. Now watch this. Are you watching carefully? Watch carefully. Here it goes. Hey, wait a minute. What's he doing? There, go back. Hey, hey, you. Let's count together. We have one, two, three, four. Four cups of wine by the Seder. That's right. You again. Hey, you go back. How many cups of wine do we have by the Seder? Let's count together. One, two, three, four. We have four cups of wine. That's right. Good job. Hey, wait a minute. Hmm. Ah, we have, let's try again. Achad, shtayim, shalosh, arba. That's right. Oh, good job. Excuse me. What are you doing there? How many cups of wine do we have by the Seder? Four. Four, that's right. Look. One, two, three, four. We have four cups of wine by the Seder. Mm-hmm. Hey. Wait a minute. Why does he come, keep coming out? You know why? Because by the Seder, we have one, two, three, four cups of wine. But there's one more cup of wine that we have. You know what that one's for? Eliyahu Hanavi. That one's for Eliyahu Hanavi, Elijah. That's Elijah's cup. Eliyahu Hanavi. And that one goes right in the middle of the table. So we drink one, two, three, four. We drink four, and we have one that's for Eliyahu Hanavi. Good job, guys. Now, let's see. Hmm. We have matzah. We have. Mother. We have wine. Mar. Oh, we have mar by the Seder. You know, you know why we have mar? What's to remind us of? Who was working so hard? The Yidden. The, the Yidden. The, the Jewish people working so hard and they were so sad. And do you remember how sad they were? We eat maror. You know what? I need you to do me a favor. Open up. Hey guys, can you do that? Open up the closet. Shh. Reach inside, do, 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 do. Oh, right there it is. Take out your hammers. Are you holding your hammers? Oh, great. Let's go. Bang, bang, bang. Hold your hammers low. Bang, bang, bang. Give a heavy blow. For it's work, work, work. Every day and every night. For it's work, work, work. When it's dark and when it's light. Okay, put the hammers back. 
So here we go. Now taking your shovels off the hook. There we go. Okay, you guys ready? Here we go. Dig, 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 dig your shovels deep. Dig, 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 there's no time to sleep. For it's work, 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 every day and every night. For it's work, 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 when it's dark and when it's light. Okay, whew, that was hard work. And to remember how hard they were working, we eat ma roar. Can we say it together, everybody say ma roar. That's right, the bitter herbs. Do you remember how hard they were working? And the Jewish people, they were working so hard and they were so sad. And that's why we have the salt water. We dipped the water, that we dipped the vegetable into the salt water. Do you remember their tears? Because they were crying when they were working so hard. Right? Now, did Power want to let them out? No. no. Power said no. Oh, listen. Oh, listen. Oh, listen, King Paro. Oh, listen. Oh, listen. Please let my people go. We work so hard all day. We want to go away. King Paro. King Paro. What do you say? No, no, no. I will not let them go. No, no, no. I will not let them go. The Jewish people, they were sad. But Hashem sent them help. Hashem sent the ten makos. That's right. Ten makos, makos, ten. The mates were punished again and again. Ten makos, makos, ten. The mates were punished again and again. Now, as we were saying, from the moment they cut the wheat all the way through, flour and then from there they take it to the matzah bakery and they make it into matzah all the way till all the way through until they're ready to make it into matzah we make sure that the flour and the water and also the wheat doesn't touch any water now let's try this out ourselves do you think we can make some flour ourselves how about this i brought along with me hey check this out right over here on this table i brought along with me some wheat and on here look at this see the wheat you see that? At the very top here, there are little seeds. They're called kernels. Those kernels, we're gonna take those kernels, we're gonna put them right here into the flour mill, and we're gonna grind them up and see if we can make some flour. You guys think you can help out with this? Yeah. Oh, great, so I need you to come stand up. Come on over this way to this table right here. And I brought along some helpers with me. I have laser. Shayna, Mendel, Levy, Esther, and Shimon. They're gonna be my helpers today. What we're gonna do is I need everybody to take a, a, one stalk of wheat. Here you go. I need one from here. Cool, let's get one for Shimon right here. How about take a stalk of wheat? And one for Esther, great. And of course, Shayna, there we go. Now, here's what we wanna do. We wanna take the top, we're gonna to break off the top, just like that. Uh, there we go. This is garbage. Okay, now here's what we want to do. We want to do this carefully. I couldn't take mine off. Oh, you want to take this one? There you go, let's trade. Or should I take yours off? Yeah. Oh, check it. Look, watch this. Just like that. Good job. Okay, now we're going to take this carefully because we don't want to get any splinters. We're going to mush this up on the table. Mush, 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 mush. Do you see all the pieces falling on the table? <gasps> Shimmer, should I do yours? Yeah. Let me help you. I don't want you to get any boo boos. Watch. I'm going to mush this up on the table. Do you see all those little seeds on the table? <gasps> Let's move these out of the way a little bit so we can get to work here. <gasps> there we go. Let's move these out of the way a little bit. Mm -hmm. Got one right there. <laughs> okay, now I need you to start picking up all the little seeds. Come on over here. Check this out. Do you see all the little seeds, all the little kernels? Oh, I'm, should I help you out with that a little bit? I can help you out with that. Do you see all the kernels on the table? Take a look at the table there. Do you see all those kernels? Well, we're gonna collect those little kernels, the little kernels of wheat, and we're gonna collect them in my bowl. So let me grab my bowl. And let's put the little kernels in the bowl. Put them in, good job, guys. Let's find all those kernels. Should I little, show you a little, a little trick? You go a little, you blow a little bit. Blows all the other stuff away. And there we go, then we have our kernels. Look, watch, if we put it into our hand, you wanna see something cool? 
watch, let's see. We put this into our hand, and we blow away all the stuff, and then we have our kernels. Let's put the kernels right in there. Hey Esther, should we try this? Watch, want to see a cool trick? Watch this, let's try this here. Let's take all this stuff in my hand. Let me show you. Watch, I'm gonna put this all in my hand, and then I'm gonna need you to do me a favor. Can you do me a favor? Could you blow, blow? Look, it blew away all the other stuff, and look, all we have left are the, the kernels. Good job, should we do some more? Shimon, should we help, she, wanna help me? Come, let's collect all the stuff here. Okay, wait, so, whoop, back up, drop, back up. There we go. Now, can you blow it? That's right. Good job, look at that. All we have left are the kernels. Right into the bowl. <gasps> Great job, so let's collect a few more. We don't need too many more, just a few more here. We should be good. Whoa, great job. Mm, good job. Do you guys see the kernels? Look at all those kernels in the bowl. <gasps> Whoa, we're doing a great job here. Let's keep it up a little bit more. I think we should be good. Okay, what do you say? Drop more? Yeah. Let's grab a few more from here. Oh, let's, oh, Shannon, let's grab a few more. Watch this, we're gonna do like this. Not all that, not all this. Let's grab this here. Watch. Esther, keep blow again. There we go. Let's put these in the bowl. Good job. Okay, guys, that's perfect. I need everybody to go back and sit down. Go back and sit down, go back and sit down. That was great. Thank you so much. Shimmy, right there in the middle. That's your spot right there. Good job. Okay. Now, look at this. You guys did a great job. Do you want to see all the kernels? Watch. And if you listen carefully, they make noise. Do you hear that? They're making noise because they're hard. When we bounce them in the bowl, they make noise because they're hard. Try this, let's close your eyes, close your eyes. Listen, listen. I hear it, I hear it. Do you guys hear that? Okay, you can open your eyes again. Well, you know what? I think it's time for these to go right into the... The oven! Nope, into the flour mill, right into here. That's right. Hashem sent the 10 makot to help the Jewish people out. And then finally, finally, Paro said, it's time to go. So the Jewish people packed all their stuff up. They got ready to go. They put their dough on their backs and they left Mitzrayim. But what happened to the dough? Do you know what happened to the dough? <laughs> That's right, it didn't have time to rise and it turned into matzah. Very good, good job, it turned into matzah. Well, you know what? Today is your lucky day because today, we're going to make some matzah. Are you guys ready? Mm, I need you to do me a little favor. I need you to stretch this way a little bit, wiggle your fingers, stretch that way, wiggle your fingers, stretch both ways, and give a clap. Okay, it's time to get to work. Well, today, we're gonna to make matzah just like they make matzah in a real matzah bakery where they make shmura matzah. Do you know what shmura means? Hmm, what does shmura mean? Shmura means? Pesach. Well, it is kosher at Pesach, but it also means handmade. Well, it's handmade, but shmura means guarded. Why are they guarding the matzah? Hey, you don't touch my matzah. Why are they guarding the matzah? You know why? Yes. They don't want it to be become homemade. Well, you see, here's the thing. From when we take the flour and the water and we mix it together in the bowl, we only have a few minutes. We only have 18 minutes to make the matzah. That's not a lot of time. So we make sure to keep the flour in one place, the water in another place, and that way they don't mix until we're ready. But shmura matzah means not only do we make sure that the flour and the water don't mix until we're ready, we also make sure that the wheat that the flour comes from doesn't touch any water either. Well, I'm gonna need some help. Okay guys. Let's get the kernels right into the flour mill. So, I'm gonna need a helper. How about, Me. we're gonna start with, whoops, see, Shimon's gonna be my first helper. Come on up, Shimon. Let's do this. Hold on to that together with me. Hold on to the bowl. We're gonna pour it all the way up in here. Can you do that for me? All the way up there. 
Great job. You got them all in? Great job. Okay, go sit down. Thank you so much. And my next helper. I'm going to start with Lady. Come on over, Lady. I need you. How are your muscles today? Let me see. Doing good? Oh, perfect. Okay, here we go. We're going to start turning this. You're going to see the flowers coming out the side there. Okay, here, let's keep going. Here it goes. This is hard work. Ah, this is really hard work. Yeah, like the Jewish people in Mitzrayim, that's right. They were working really, really hard. Oh, listen. Oh, listen. Oh, listen, King Paro. Oh, listen. Oh, listen. Please let my people go. They work so hard all day. They want to go away. King Paro. King Paro. What do you say? say? No, no, no. I will not let them go. No, no, no. I will not let them go. Okay, lady, I think that's enough. Go take a seat. I'm, I have got my special flower brush here and my bowl, and let's see how we did. Okie doke. Here we go. Here we go, right in there. Just like that. Beautiful. Okay. Now, remember before how much noise it made? You guys remember how much noise it made before? Are you ready? Let's try it now. You tell me how this how this sounds now. Here, listen. Let's try it. Here we go. Pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it doesn't make any sound. Remember before it made so much sound? Now it only makes a little sound. Great job. Now this is pretty quiet. Let's see if we can get it even quieter. I've got the sifter right here. Let's grab the flower right in here. Just like this. I'm gonna put it into the sifter. See, and see only the small pieces of the flower, the really, really fine flower comes through and the bigger parts of the flower stay right on top. Look at that. And now, you ready? Let's put this stuff back over here for now because are you ready? Now you tell me how quiet the flower is now. You guys ready for this? Tell me how quiet the flower is. Listen carefully. That is so quiet, do you hear that? That's the flower we just made. That's right. Now to make matzah, shmura matzah of course, there's only two things that go inside. There's flour. What's the other thing that goes in the matzah? Flour and? Mmm, flour and water. Do you know when they make shmura matzah, we use a special kind of water. It's called mayim shelanu. Mayim shelanu. The reason for that is, is we want it to be a special temperature, room temperature. And therefore, we go to the well, we take the water, we bring it with us to the matzah bakery, and then we keep it in the matzah bakery overnight. It sleeps in the matzah bakery. That's why it's called Mayim Shelanu, water that rested, because we keep it overnight in the matzah bakery. Now, in the matzah bakery, like we were mentioning before, we have special rooms, one room for the flour, just like that one right there, and one room for the water, and we make sure that the flour and the water do not mix until we're ready, because from when they, when they mix, we, we put the flour and the water in, we only have 18 minutes to finish making our matzah. That is not a lot of time. So we keep the flour right there, make sure no dust goes flying all over, all over the place, and the special water goes in the water in the water room, and then that way we make sure they don't mix until we're ready. Now, I've got with me some flour here. This one is not kosher for Pesach. This, mat, this flour I bought, I actually bought, it's not kosher for Pesach, but for what we need for today, I think it's gonna work. I'm gonna measure out some flour and some water, and then we will get started. Let's see. Let me get my gloves. Okay. And that one, beautiful. And let's get some gloves for you guys. Actually, these are, uh, where are they? Here you go. I actually have small gloves for you guys. 
Yeah. Here's some smaller gloves for you guys. Let's try on a pair of gloves for you. And some gloves for you. Here we go. Here we go. Some gloves. How about that? And some gloves. Let me get these guys some gloves. Okay, now let me let's take a look here. I'm gonna measure out the flour. You want to help them out over there? Get the gloves on. Beautiful. Let's measure out the flour. Let's see, we need. Okay. More. Right there. Now we need some water. Yolk. Let's see. Perfect. I think we're good to go. Now, of course, in a real matzo bakery, they make shmur matzo. They don't have the water and the flour sitting on the table like this. That wouldn't quite work. But I think we're gonna we're just about ready to get started. I'm gonna need some helpers to come help me out in the water room, in the flower room, and the water room. So we're gonna start off with my helpers Shimon and Esther. Oh, 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 oh. Go. Now, Esther, you're gonna be the flower girl right inside there. You're gonna hop up on the chair. Shimon, you're gonna be the water boy, go right inside there. And I need some helpers. How about uh Levy? You're gonna go with um I go with Esther right there. And Mendel, come on over here and help give, give Shimon a hand. Say hi to all my friends. Hey, hi, how you guys doing there? And hi, Mendel and Shimon. Now, Shane, are you ready? I need you to go right in the middle. You're gonna hold this right in there. And the, these rooms have special windows. And we don't open them until it's their turn to get to, to do their job, okay? Let's do this. Water and flour for you guys. Great. Now in a real matzah bakery, they say flour and they pour the flour and they say water and they pour the water in, but they don't say flour and water in English. They say it in Hebrew. Do you know how to say flour in Hebrew? Let's try it together. I want to say, everybody say it, the count of three, say kemach. Kemach. Good job, let's try it again. Kemach. Kemach. Now we're going to say Mayim. Mayim. One more time. Let me hear you guys. Mayim. Mayim. Oh, pretty good job there. Now, this time for real. When we say Kemach, I want to hear you guys. When we say Kemach, they're going to pour the flour in. And when we say Mayim, they're going to pour the water into the bowl. Are you ready? Ooh, one more thing I forgot. How could I forget? How could I forget? The timer. We've got to make sure we try to do this. Even though this is not coach for Pesach, we're going to see if we can still try to do this in the 18 minutes. That's not a lot of time. Let's see if we can give this a shot. You ready? We're going to say Kemach. Are you guys ready? We're going to say Kemach. Everybody say Kemach. Kemach. Pour the Kemach in. Good job. And then we're going to say Mayim. Everybody say Mayim. Mayim. Great. Mayim and Kemach are in there. Let's turn this to 18. There we go. The clock is ticking. Right there at 18. Beautiful. Okay, and you all my helpers to go back and sit down. I need the gloves. Nope, we still need the gloves. Okay. Mixing the dough isn't an easy job. I'm gonna need your help. You guys ready? You know how you can help me out? There's a special song. When you sing that song, it helps make mix the dough much better. Do you guys know there's those four questions we ask? What are those four questions called? Ah, oh, man. We call them, right, the Manishtana. You're very good. The Manishtana. So you guys can help me out. Are you guys ready? One, two, three. Let's do it together. Manishtana. Halai lahaze. Miko halelot. Miko halelot. Shebechol halelot. 
אנו אוכלים חמץ ומצה, חמץ ומצה. הלילה הזה, הלילה הזה, כולו מצה. הלילה הזה, הלילה הזה, כולו מצה. שבכל הלילות אנו אוכלים שיער ירקות, שיער ירקות. הלילה הזה, הלילה הזה, מרור, מרור. הלילה הזה, הלילה הזה, מרור, מרור. שבכל הלילות אין אנו מטפילים אפילו פעם אחת. אפילו פעם אחת, הלילה הזה, הלילה הזה, שתי פעמים, הלילה הזה, הלילה הזה, שתי פעמים, שבכל הלילות אנו אוכלים, בין יושבים ובין מסובים, בין יושבים ובין מסובים, הלילה הזה, הלילה הזה, כולנו מסובים, הלילה הזה, הלילה הזה, כולנו מסובים. Good job. Look at that. And just like that, our dough is ready. Now, everybody's going to get a little piece of dough. And when I give you that dough, we're first going to roll it into a ball. I need you guys to stand up and stand next to that table over there. Come on over with us, guys. We're going to go to that table. Are we ready? Whoops. Let me sneak past here. I need a chair. So first, we don't need the rolling pins yet. Let's move the rolling pins into the middle. Let's do that. Because we're going to start with the dough. I, I need everybody to the take their piece of dough, and we're going to roll it into a ball. You do that, you're going to roll, roll into a ball. Try that. You need your piece of dough. Here, let's see here. We're going to give you some dough. How about roll it into a ball? First, we're going to knead it. Can you knead it? That's a good idea. Do you know how to knead? Do you know how you knead? Here's how it works. Let me show you. But here's one for you. Like this. You know, first, we're, not gonna, we're going to squish it. Squish and mush. Do you guys know how to squish and mush? Well, that's what you need to do. We need to hold it in one hand, you squish and mush and squish and mush. Now, if you want, but you don't have to, if you want, you can also gush it. So you squish, mush, and gush. And also, a little bit later, I'm gonna actually tell you the recipe that you'll be able to try this at home. You're gonna need some flour, water, a rolling pin, and of course, an oven. I'll tell you the recipe soon. But for now, I think it's time to get to work. Take your dough and mush and squish and mush and squish. There you go. I feel it getting softer. You guys are doing a great job. Let's go. I'm mush, squish, mine. mush. Here you go. I get, there's a piece. Mush, squish, mush, squish. Good job. There you go. Okie dokie. I think that's just about enough. Do you want this one back? Yeah. Oh, sure. Let's trade. There you go. How's yours doing? Oh, the mush and squish it. There you go. We're going to roll it into a ball now. Can you guys roll it into a ball? Roll it into a ball first. We need you to roll it into a ball. Can you roll it into a ball? Just like this. Roll, 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 roll into a ball. Then we're going to put it on the table, and we're going to make it flat. So, let's make it flat first. Let's make it flat. Bang, bang, bang. Hold your hammers low. Bang, 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 give a heavy blow. For it's work, 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 every day and every night. For it's work, 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 when it's dark and when it's light. Okay, now take your rolling pins and we're going to roll, roll, roll. Okay? Can I show you a little secret that works pretty well when you're rolling the dough? Here, watch this. Put the dough on the table and make it nice and flat. Flat, 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 flat. Then you roll it, you pick it up and turn it. Roll and turn. That's the trick. Roll and turn. Roll and turn.
turn. And we wanna get this as flat, flat, flat as you can. Maybe even as flat as a paper. You guys think you can get it as flat as a paper? That's pretty flat. But keep going, keep trying. Keep rolling, I'll help you a little bit. Keep, keep. I don't want mine to be flat. Well, flat is what matzo looks like. I don't want mine to be bigger. You don't want yours to be bigger? No. Oh, okay, do you want this, do you want to trade with me, Shimon? Okay, you want to trade that one? I want to trade. Okay, I'm going to give you one here in just a minute. I'll be... Now I want to trade. Okay, let's keep making it flatter. Oh, look at this, Shimon. Can you make this flatter for me? Yeah. Oh, good. Keep Pause. working. Now, keep rolling and turning. The trick is keep pick, pick it up and turn it. No, not, don't, not your rolling finger, but go. Pick, roll, and then turn. Don't flip it over. Just turn it. You roll and turn roll and turn roll oh great thank you okay that's enough rolling for now i think the matzahs are flat enough but the thing is we take these matzahs and put them right in the oven now you know what's going to happen to them they're going to start going bloop 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 and bubbling up we don't want our matzahs to bubble up. We want to make sure they stay flat, flat, flat. So to do that, I have a special matzah hole maker, and we're gonna make some holes in the matzah, and this way it will make keep the matzah nice and flat. And I'm gonna need you guys to help me out with this. Okay, let me, let's come on over here. Esther, help me out with this here. Let's do this. One, two, good job. You see those, you see the holes in the matzah? Do you see those holes? Look at those holes in the matzah. Let's make some more holes. And then it's gonna be time to bake the matzah. Okay. Come on around this way. Let's do this. Here we go. Okay. This way and there. And there. Flip it over. And here we go. Okay. Good job. Okay, Shimon, your turn. Let's hold on to this together. And here we go, just like that. Beautiful. Okay. Good job, Shimon. Now you see all the holes in the matzo? Here we go. Pull it this way, pull it that way, push it this way, and this way. Flip it over. Okay, bring your matzas over to the oven. Wait on this side of the table because the oven is very, very hot. This oven is 650 degrees. It's really hot. So we have to be very careful to make sure we're nice and safe. We have special gloves. Okay. And actually, let's see here. Beautiful. Okay. Wow, the oven's nice and hot. Let's get started. Here we go. You ready? Now, this oven is so hot, 650 degrees, and the matzo bakes in about 30 seconds or 45 seconds. In a real matzah bakery, the oven is even hotter. It's about 2,000 degrees. And the matzah beer, real big matzahs, they only take a few seconds to bake. It goes really, really fast. Okay, let's have the next matzah. Shimon, let me have your matzah there. Great job. Whoa, these matzahs are just about done already. They go really super, super fast. One morning when Paro awoke in his bed, there were frogs on his head and frogs on his head. Frogs on his nose and frogs on his toes. Frogs here, frogs here. Frogs were jumping everywhere. Whoa, do you see these matzahs? This bake super, super fast. Do you see that, guys? Look how fast that matzah, it's very hot, don't touch it, but look how fast it baked. It's all ready. Mmm, smells so good. Yep, yeah, just a few minutes. Now, if you'd like, these matzahs are not kosher for Pesach, so don't eat these by the Seder. You wanna finish them before Pesach. But what you could do is maybe try a little jam, little chocolate spread. Mmm, they taste yum. Well, let's put this here. Okay, 
grab a pen and paper. I'm going to show you, you can actually try this out at home yourself. Here's how it works. I'm gonna give you the ingredients. I'm actually gonna put them down below as well, and you can try this out. Of course, this matzah we're making today is not kosher for Pesach, so make sure you buy shmur matzah. I'm gonna actually have an email address down below soon as well, where I can, you can email me and I can direct you where to buy shmur matzah. This matzah is not kosher for Pesach, so therefore finish it and eat it before Pesach, of course. But here's how it works. You want one and three quarters of a cup of flour. I measured that out right already myself, right here. And then we want six ounces of water, three quarters of a cup of water right there. We're gonna mix this all up. Okay, there we have it. Now we're gonna take a little piece of dough. Just like that, we're taking a little piece of dough and you need, some, you need a piece about that big. Okay, we'll put some flour on the table. Thing so it doesn't stick too much. Now, first, we want to knead it right nice and soft. Great. Next thing is we want to roll it into a ball. I think you guys could do that. Roll it into a ball just like that. Beautiful. Then you want to make it nice and flat on the table. Okay. Next thing is the rolling pin. You got a rolling pin? We're going to roll it. Here's the trick do not flip it over. You always want to roll it and turn it, roll it. If you actually have enough flour on the table, you could actually flip it over as well. You roll it, roll it, and turn it. Roll and turn. Keep rolling and turning. Oops, let's move all this flour out of the way for a moment. There we go. Rolling and turning. Rolling and turning. Okay. When you get your matzah nice and flat, we want, well, let's shake off some of that flour. We want to make sure it stays flat. So to keep it flat, we have the holes. I have, the, my, I have my matzah hole maker. If you've got one of these handy, you can use that. Otherwise, try a fork. And you start making holes. You gotta make a lot of holes. So you gotta get to work. Keep going. Oh. Don't rip, the, don't rip the matzah too much like I just did. There you go. Okay. Keep going, making those holes. Okay. So the recipe again is one and three quarters of a cup of flour and six ounces of water or three quarters of a cup of water. Okay. Flip it over, do the same on the other side. Okay, next thing is it goes into the oven. I've got this really hot pizza oven, brick, you know, brick oven. You can use a regular oven, try to set it as hot as you can, put it on a cookie sheet and put it right into the oven and uh, bake it till it's nice and crispy. Now, to, for the real, on the first night of Pesach, we don't want this, this is chametz. Make sure you eat it, get rid of it before Pesach. But if you like matzah, you can email me, Moshe, M-O-S-H-E, at bcfriendship.com. Moshe at bcfriendship.com, right down there. Email me and I'll direct you where you can buy some matzah and have a chag, kasher v'sameach, have a healthy, happy Pesach. Enjoy your matzah. Chag Sameach.